Yesterday it was beautiful, today it can't decide whether it's gonna snow or rain. It's spitting a little bit, but I've stopped on my hike for lunch and I'm gonna show you the fat rope fire starters and what you can do with it. Today we're having Thai style coconut curry with beef. That's what it looks like there. I didn't bring my long spoon, so just put it in my cup, no big deal. I don't know, pretty much the same as yesterday. Yesterday's was rice, this one's noodles. I think I like the rice a little bit better. Anything with curry in it though is good. Slamming. So what I have here is the fat rope sticks and then I also have their new product, the fat rope tin. And what it is, is it's basically just rope wound up in there really tight, compressed down and wrapped with this plastic so it stays completely waterproof. Very easy to pack down in your pack, which is what I really like about it. But you basically just cut off a section and then you rub it between your fingers and you get this fine waxy string material that takes spark. Pretty much the same idea with the fat rope tins. It's just chunks of the fat rope in there. You do get this nice reusable tin. This is a buck more than the uh, than the stick, so it might make more sense to do it this way, although it is a little bit harder to pack, I suppose. But basically the same principle. You just get these little chunks of this rope here and you kind of just spin it apart in your hand and you kind of just rough it up as you would any tinder and you can tear these little, little yarn pieces apart and you can feel that it's coated in wax. Now this bundle came from a chunk that I cut off one of the sticks. You can see that I didn't cut off very much there, maybe about an inch, and you've got plenty of tinder. I know I'd be able to start a fire with this. You may get more than 10 fires out of the fat rope. So let's go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll do it from the beginning and we'll see how it works. So what you wanna do is just slice off a section of the fat rope. You simply just, with your knife, just kinda cut into it. It does cut pretty nicely as long as you have a sharp knife and then I just flip it over and make another cut on the other side until you get a nice little chunk like that and then you can just slit the uh, plastic off here pop these little coils out now what you're supposed to do with these is just rub them in between your hands and I find it's difficult with gloves on especially these half gloves so what I found I have to do is take these off and then I can grab up these chunks and sort of just roll them in my hand. And that roughs them up enough to, uh, to create the stringy fibers that you want. So you can kind of just crush them and roll them in a ball. You could do it on the, on the uh, ground too as long as you got a nice dry surface. But essentially you just want to rough this all up for a minute or two until you get really fine threads that'll take a spark. I found once you kind of get it into a ball like that, it makes it really easy You just kind of roll it together and it goes fast from that point. So there you got kind of a nice stringy mess there. That's certainly gonna take a spark. And again, you know, that was a chunk about this size I don't even think you'd need that much. These are the two that I've done so far, and I think that's plenty of uh, of tinder. So you could probably cut, you know, cut that in half and get maybe up to 20 fires out of one of these sticks. So I've got a clump of it here. Let's go ahead and give it a spark. All it needed was one little spark. We've got plenty of tinder there to get your fire going.
So another thing I want to try is will it work when wet? So I've gone ahead and uh, wet the surface here. I'm just going to plop that right down on the wet there and I'm actually going to pour some water right on top and you can actually see the water is actually beating right off it. So let's see if we can get that to take a spark. Not sure, it might have got too wet. There it goes. Now that sells it for me. That's fantastic. Pour water right on it and it's still going. Too cool. Well, that water test really did it for me. I don't know about you, but that is a very cool product indeed. And I don't even think you need as much as I pulled off. You could probably get 20 fires out of a stick. So certainly a cool product, a unique product, and very easy to pack item. Definitely cool. You can get it in the sticks. You can get it in the tins. I think it's a dollar more for the tins, but you get the tin, which is a great bonus as well. Pretty easy to use. I found that I had to take my gloves off to rub it together, but uh, no big deal. Once you get it all spread apart like you would any other tinder, it works really, really well. So I'm going to leave a link below to their website where you guys can check out all their products. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below in the comment section. Please share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on your social media. And if you haven't done so already, click subscribe for more videos.